Today we'll be going over protocol converters. Uh, my name is Robert Morrell. I'm taking over from Maria, who's out today. But today we'll go over protocol converters. First we'll go over how protocol converters work. Then we'll show how lowering costs with Modbus equipment can be achieved using protocol converters. Uh, then we'll show you a couple of examples on our protocol converters. We have devices which can convert Modbus RTU to Modbus TCP, Ethernet IP to Modbus, whether it be TCP or RTU. Uh, same for HART protocol. And we have many CAN bus to Modbus converters. And then finally, we'll go over how to use SCADA systems with our converters. ICP-DOS was started in 1993. Um, it was established uh, in 2001 in the United States to support North and South American market. Uh, our products are manufactured in Taiwan, and we provide free technical support. Using the automation pyramid, businesses can think about intelligent automation and data analysis. Acquired data information reduces the amount of work required to get measurement values from systems moving up the pyramid, from process equipment to business decisions. At the field level, run times, speed, level, flow rates, temperature, and other critical data points are available for control system integration and visualization using HMI and SCADA systems. Additional information with analysis and trending tools help reduce the amount of raw data operators must deal with. From there, data can be translated into information for making intelligent business decisions. Integrating business tools into processes turns operational data into timely, accurate, and digestible information about the overall state of a business. Decision makers will be empowered to improve efficiency in every aspect of the business. The level of the automation pyramid work together, and different protocols are used to interconnect all devices, controllers, and servers in the system to gain this information. Many different protocols are used in industrial automation. Some, some vendors provide equipment that uses its own proprietary protocols, while other vendors provide equipment that communicates over open protocols. A protocol is basically a language that equipment uses to communicate with. Like English or Spanish, you'll be able to follow a conversation if you understand the language people are speaking. Protocol converters and gateways are translators that convert one protocol to another. They know how to communicate with different devices that communicate over different protocols, as they have memory maps inside them and get data from one device, store it in a table, and pass the corresponding information in another protocol to another device. Process values, temperature measurements, and other sensor data from sensors are continuously updated from a slave device. When the master device using a different protocol needs the information, it will be available in the format it can understand. Both Modbus TCP and Modbus RTU are widely used in industrial instrumentation, control, and data acquisition. Data acquisition is the process of sampling real-world physical information and conversion of samples into digital numeric values that computers and controllers can understand. As Modbus has been adopted by many vendors as a primary or secondary protocol, it is easy to interconnect equipment from different manufacturers using Modbus. Modbus is the de facto standard in industrial communication as it has an open standard specification and easy implementation. There are a lot of code examples available on the internet for developing custom software. Most SCADA software, like Indusoft and Kingview, come with Modbus drivers. Modbus' is simple master-slave protocol technique is straightforward and doesn't require a special token to establish communication. A cost savings point 
is Modbus doesn't require special cabling as it can be transmitted on a simple twisted pair insulated copper wire for Modbus RTU and standard category 5 Ethernet cables for Modbus TCP. ICB-DOS provides protocol converters. Many of them are to convert to or from Modbus RTU or Modbus TCP and can be easily, easily integrated into a wide range of controllers and communicate natively with Modbus. The first converter we'll discuss is Modbus RTU to Modbus TCP. Modbus RTU can be transmitted over cables up to 1.2 kilometers or about 4,000 feet and can be extended using repeaters. But you may need to monitor a Modbus device over the internet in another location. An example is in a building where there is already an ethernet network. Cabling is available and you need to use serial based devices. In both cases the solution will be converting Modbus RTU to Modbus TCP using the example of the TGW series shown in the picture. Ethernet IP typically employs active star network technology. This type of network allows mixing of 10 and 100 megabits per second products and is compatible with most Ethernet switches. Ethernet IP is used with personal PCs mainframes, robotics, input and output devices, and adapters, PLCs, and PACs. The specification is supported by the Industrial Ethernet Association, ControlNet International, and ODVA. If you have an Ethernet IP network and need to communicate with some Modbus slave devices, you can use our GW7472 that will convert Ethernet IP commands to Modbus. If on the other hand you have a Modbus master device, you can use GW7473 to communicate with Ethernet or to Ethernet IP slave devices. The Hart protocol was developed in the 1980s and transferred to the Hart Foundation in the early 90s. The majority of smart field devices installed worldwide today are heart enabled. Simply put, the heart or highway addressable remote transducer protocol is a standard for sending and receiving digital information along analog wires between smart devices and controller monitoring systems. More specifically, heart is a bi-directional communication protocol that provides data access between intelligent field and host systems. Because a lot of automation networks in operation today are based on traditional 4 to 20 milliamp analog wiring, hard technology serves as a critical role because the digital information is simultaneously communicated with the 4 to 20 milli or through the 4 to 20 milliamp signal. To convert from heart to Modbus, ICP-DOS has our heart 710 and Hart 711 Modbus TCP version. In both cases, the converters allow Modbus masters to communicate with Hart field devices like sensors and actuators. Shortly, I'll be giving you an example using our Indusoft how to communicate to our Hart module and read data from a Hart device. The CAN bus is a message-based protocol designed specifically for multiplex electrical wiring within motor vehicles. Can also be used in other contexts. CAN is a network used in many everyday products consisting of multiple microcontrollers that need to communicate with each other without a host computer. CAN is implemented in hardware in microcontrollers of about 25 chip manufacturers. CAN bus is one of five protocols used in the onboard diagnostic or OBD2 vehicle diagnostic standard. The OBD2 standard has been mandatory for all cars 
and light trucks sold in the United States since 1996. The I-7530A-MR is a Modbus RTU to CAN converter that's helpful in exchanging data between RS-232, RS-45, and RS-422 devices which communicate using Modbus to CAN devices. In Modbus RTU mode, it allows a Modbus RTU master to communicate with the CAN devices on the CAN network. SCADA is Supervisor Control and Data Acquisition. It is used for remote monitoring and control that operates with CODA signal over communication channels. In other words, it helps to bring in the data to a screen, to data logs, and to visually control uh, operations. 